So here we were, early summer 2019. My uh, buddy Heath reached out to me. We were both wanting to do something cool, something uh, neither of us had done before. And so we planned an awesome river trip. Uh, he came down and met me in Columbus, Mississippi. And from there, the plan was to head north on the Tin Tom Waterway. That would deposit us in Pickwick Lake, which is just the Tennessee River impounded. From there, we would take the Tennessee River north, um, hopefully to Kentucky Lake and Paducah. After that, we would get on the Ohio River until it merged with the Mississippi. And if you know a miracle happened and everything went right, we would uh, make it to Memphis, where we would be picked up. But the real question at hand was, what kind of vessel, both powerful and distinguished, would be capable of such a journey? Nearly 700 miles over much of it rough water. And of course the answer is my beloved 17 foot all weld, Ada May. It's been said you're supposed to name a ship after a distinguished and empowered woman. And although I have many in my life to draw inspiration from, I uh, ended up going with my grandmother, Ada May. Alright, here we are uh, on the, the eve of battle. Uh, Heath is officially in the house. Uh, went and got some went and got some good dinner. Uh, did a little prep work to the boat, and uh, yeah, now we're just putting the final touches on uh, on all of our our kit here, and we're gonna uh, hit the hit the hay, get a little rest. We're gonna we're gonna hit it early tomorrow morning, and uh, you know, see how far we can make it. All right, so we made it back to the marina. Uh, about to get everything loaded up and uh, yeah, get the boat splashed and get some fuel and uh, start heading north. All right, officially on the water.
changing Avery Lock. They just opened the gates for us, so it's lock number two. Yes, sir. Much appreciated. First barge of the day. I'd say that's doing pretty well. You made it, I don't know what, 70, 80 miles without a single barge? You know? We'll definitely have quite a bit of shade in there. Yeah, yeah, thank goodness. Witten Lock was huge, like a hundred foot rise, it was crazy. From there we entered what's known as the Divide Cut. It's a 30 mile canal that connects Bay Springs and Pickwick Lake. It's uh, one of the biggest engineering feats in American history. It can be actually, actually be seen from orbit. Um, yeah, it's just like a 250 foot ditch that's 30 miles long. So it's our uh, second second day on the water here. We woke up, went and got some fuel at the marina, Grand Harbor. Made it four or five miles out of port and started having some engine trouble. I think it's something in the lower unit. Um, it's just like vibrating really bad. So we're just pulled over here on the side of Pickwick Lake just kind of like letting the trolling motor batteries charge trying to figure up a plan what we're gonna do yeah this is uh not what we hoped for <laughs> so after seeking shelter at uh the state park marina at the uh edge of pickwick up against the dam uh yeah we tried to get in touch with the mechanic never returned our calls. Um, I honestly, I'm starting to think now that it's some kind of issue with the drive shaft that connects the, the head unit to the lower unit. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. We can't fix it. So, we have come to a, to a decision that we are not gonna let some petty inconvenience like total engine failure uh, put an end to our journey. We will make it to, conduct, to Kentucky or we will die. Okay, 
look a little rough up here. Yeah, yeah, this is very let some water out of there, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tennessee River. We're booking his country. I saw the light in a sunrise sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running. I'm ready for some real food. Yeah, it has been. Somehow, this was Heath's first time ever to eat catfish. I uh, don't think he was disappointed. Yeah. I saw the light in a sunrise sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside getting So, after dinner, uh, we made a call to the Clifton Marina. And which is about 30 miles down from where we ate. And uh, they put us in touch with a mechanic that they have on call. Uh, sounds like a super nice guy when I talk to him. Got an appointment to meet with him at 10 a.m. in the morning. So we've got 30 something miles to cover um, before then. So it's gonna be a late night, but we're just going uh, slow and steady. That's how you win the race, right? box I end up in when it's my time lay me six feet deep in God's country Two minutes he was able to tell us that the uh, yeah it's the lower unit uh, it's the forward gear is stripped probably like teeth sheared, sheared off the the ring gear the pinion so there's the only option would be to replace the lower unit which there's no way we could do on short order so our options are to troll forward or to troll forward so uh, so I suppose that's what we're going to do. The choice is clear. Met a man wearing a t-shirt said Virginia is for lovers Had a Bible in his left hand and a bottle in the other He said all oh, you Sunshine in your name. We both started laughing when the sky started to rain. Get along down the road. We got a long, long way to go. Scared to live, scared to die. We ain't perfect, but we try. Get along while we can. Always give love the upper hand. Pain the wall, learn to dance. Call your mom, buy a boat, drink a beer, sing a song. Photoshopped her, were her eyes really that lonely? Did she leave her hometown thinking she'd end up in L.A.? Did she break down in the desert and get stuck beside the highway? Get along, along down the road, we got a long, long way to go. Scared to live, scared to die. We ain't perfect, but we try. Get along. Welcome. We're transient, man. Yes, we are. Basically vagrants. Uh, yeah, we look like it. Don't we? I look like I started this beard when we started. Over there and walk over. 
This might be the most interesting place we've come to yet. Yeah, this is quite the quite the locale. Bars. Yeah, on a little old retired bar. All right, so we made it to the Mermaid Marina. We're both exhausted, but it looks like they've got a pretty good menu here. Pretty decent uh, marina too. Uh, so we're recuperating. The batteries are charging out on the dock, and we're just making, you know, just making things up as we go along. Getting, getting pretty exhausted, but we're pushing on. Scared to live, scared to die. We ain't perfect, but we try. Get along while we can. Always get love the upper hand. Paint a wall. Learn to dance. Never throw a call to mom. Buy a boat. Drink a beer. Sing a song. Make a friend. Can't we all get along? So we put our minds together um, about midday and we developed this radiant heat mitigation device patent pending um, and it's been working exceptionally well. It's been greatly improving the quality of our lives. just uh, woke up. We anchored out last night in the uh, about you know a couple hundred yards outside of the channel uh, a little north of Parsons, Tennessee and uh, in touch with our ride and he's going to meet us at this uh, place called Deer Creek. Mm. Called Deer Creek. It's uh, just a couple miles north of where we are now. My marker is like one, two, four. And uh, yeah, so we're doing pretty good cruising that way now. And uh, look, looking forward to uh, having a little, little air conditioning, all that good stuff. After the tumultuous journey, we finally reached our makeshift port of call just south of the I-40 bridge at the southernmost part of Kentucky Lake. Uh, our ride was still about an hour away, which was perfect. Gave us just enough time to get everything packed up and ready to uh, put on the truck as soon as he got here. And before we knew it, that beautiful green Chevrolet came rounding the corner eager to relieve us. Okay, so just got hauled out of the water, got back on the interstate. This is a, uh, this is quite a interesting area we uh we found ourselves in lots of uh lots of uh mm, i don't know how to put it interesting people <laughs> but yeah so uh the the old man himself here came and, and pulled us out and it was just in the nick of time bailed you out again yeah bailed us out again we can always always count on him um but uh yeah so we made it away 50 miles yeah, about. and at least half of that was under a trolling motor for, <laughs> for power so <laughs> next time we're uh we're gonna hit paducah or we're gonna die that's so, right we'll die trying we'll die trying we got two oars now yeah we got two oars yeah. so <laughs> all right until next time